Good day, this is the Longmont Weather Forecast for Tuesday through Friday, March 31st to April 3rd. Happy April, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Let's look at the April 1st, Wednesday moon. We're at first quarter. Oh, so it's waxing crescent. Well, it really is almost because it's not quite at 50 percent visibility it's about 47 percent illuminated got to go out later at night to get the exact first quarter but close enough all right there is a big storm coming so let's talk about this thing uh first off we have this conveyor belt of moisture coming out of the tropics across the southern tier of states like our last storm that uh moved in the mountains and kind of tapped into that moisture uh, gave us a, a good amount of uh, snow and, and rain. So we're going to get it repeated again. In fact, this will be the fourth Thursday, Friday window in which we've had a cold snap and a storm move in. Yeah, at least a little bit of snow on a Friday. So kind of interesting. You can get patterns where the um, jet stream is uh, kind of repeating at a seven-day cycle in any certain location. And that's what we have going here. Up in the Pacific Northwest, you can see a low, and this is going to be what's digging down and tapping into some of the colder uh, Arctic air to bring down into the states. The Arctic air is not going to directly hit us. It's going to kind of slide past us to the northeast, but it'll give us a, uh, enough cold air for snow and put us on the boundary with this moisture to give us uh, some good precipitation. Well, let's look at it. By midnight Tuesday a.m., probably before this video goes up, or maybe just by the time this video goes up, um, you can see the big sloppy mess coming into western Canada and the northwestern U.S. Got a big surface low, got a cold front ahead of it, snow in the mountains, rain at the lower elevations. Down in our neck of the woods, our little chance of showers on Monday is moving out on the plains. There's a deep southern low riding through the jet stream down there. The big picture for the next 10 days, we do warm up very remarkably the beginning of the week here. And then we see this Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday morning a window really cooling down. And the different model runs of the GFS are pretty good agreement that rain and snow is on the way. After that, your regularly scheduled nice week weather returns and also it'll be nice for the weekend so that's good but tuesday p.m cold front is <clears throat> inching its way down towards us we have that low still sinking down behind the system and we're high and dry by wednesday morning you can see the storm is getting here uh finally we got low kind of intensifying over on the utah Colorado border, we got a little cold front pushing through the northern mountains, passing Longmont, probably late morning, early afternoon-ish. That will allow temperatures to get pretty warm up ahead of it. Remember, you get westerly flow off the mountains, will give you downslope, so you get warming that way. And then as the front pushes in, it compresses the air, so you get a couple uh, mechanisms for warming that way. And the ridge ahead of this trough will still be influencing the area. So three reasons you can get some warm weather right before the cold hits. With cold air coming in aloft and some moisture available at the surface, we will have a chance of a few rumbles of thunder uh, from about Denver north in the northern part of our state for Wednesday. So with the rain chances increasing in the afternoon, some of those might uh, put down a flash of lightning now and then. The upper level pattern Wednesday shows what's going on. We have that low that was up here, Alaska, Western Canada coming down into uh, Western Central Canada and a trough stretching off the West Coast. A little bit of trough here I didn't mark with a red line, but we're on the uphill side of a trough so we get the lift we got the moisture coming in from the tropics, the ingredients that we need for a storm. By Thursday morning, the trough is rotating in uh, closer. Got sort of a double barrel low up here in Canada, bringing cold air around the back side of it. 
And we're definitely in the intensifying portion of the storm. Cold air coming in, it changes over to snow. For Thursday night, the trough is almost here. We got cold air in place, good amount of lift. It's, it's really going to give us an ice storm. How much? Well, the GFS using a 10 to 1 snowfall ratio because we're still not going to be amazingly cold. When you get really cold, maybe uh, one inch of, of rain would be 15 inches of snow. Uh, when it's marginal, temperatures are close to freezing, it's more one inch of rain would be 10 inches of snow. So we got about five to six inches of snow possible in this run of the GFS, centered right over Longmont, extending down to Boulder. We, we win <laughs> in the I-25 corridor as far as snow goes. The GEM model from Canada is not quite so excited. It gives the foothills a lot more snow, but we get maybe three to four inches of snow right along here. Right out on the plains, you get some downslope off the Cheyenne Ridge there. I uh, get a little uh, <coughs> banding down here in the southern uh, west and uh, eastern plains of, of the state. But we're in a little notch here of maybe three to four. Go over to Firestone, it might be two to three. Go a little bit further east and you're down to an inch or so. The amount of moisture we're expecting to get through Saturday noon be about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. Lucky folks might even pull off an inch of water. So if you don't have your spring fertilizer out yet, uh, this would be a good time to do it because this will water it in nicely and uh, maybe give you some weed control. That's what I plan to do. So looking at the entire week, we start out really warm with showers increasing uh, Wednesday afternoon into the evening. One cold front comes in in the early afternoon, around noon. Another cold front comes over in overnight, really dropping the temperatures into the 30s for Thursday, down to the teens, Friday morning. We start bouncing back pretty quickly on Friday to the 40s and then back to the 60s and 70s for the weekend. But Thursday is going to see a lot of snow. Not that you're probably going anywhere. For more local news, take a look at the longmontobserver.org. My weather column there is updated quite frequently to keep up with uh, events in the weather and to show you snowfall and rainfall totals after the fact. So please visit there. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for the Longmont Public Media. This has been your Longmont weather forecast. Keep looking up.